Welcome back. Today's video is about a game-changing feature in Microsoft Outlook Calendar, Go to Date. So imagine that you have to check your calendar for Christmas. Since Christmas is a few months away, you may need to scroll through your calendar for the next few months. Well, not anymore. With the Go to Date feature, you can jump to any date in an instance. No more scrolling. The Go to Date or the control G command, not only allows you to go to a specific date, it also recognizes natural language. For example, if you type in Christmas, it will automatically jump you to the next December 25th. If you type in Halloween, the Outlook calendar will automatically take you to the next October 31st. You could also type in part of a date, such as July 1st. If you type in July 1st, it will take you to the next July 1st. The go to date or control G command will save you so much time. Let me demonstrate how this works. To access this, I'm on the home tab and in the go to section, I could click on this and it will automatically open the go to date. You'll notice it automatically puts the current date in, but I could type in August 2nd. Here I can choose which one I want. I'm going to go into the day calendar, click OK and it takes me to August 2nd. Now I'm going to just press control G. Here I'm going to type in September 26 and it takes me to that date. I'll go back up here. I'm going to type in Christmas and it automatically takes me to Christmas. New Year's, it would take me to New Year's. I'm going to just switch back to the day view in the next one. Control G and I'm just going to type in Halloween and I'm going to switch to the day calendar and it takes me to Halloween. Control G and I'm going to type in let's say today. It automatically takes me to today. I'm going to type two weeks. It will automatically take me to May 1st which is two weeks. If I do Control G I'm going to say okay I want to do in one month, what is that date? And it would automatically take me to May 18th. It's not going to show in this particular view because I'm in work week. If I choose week, you'll notice it's on the 18th. So this will save you so much time because you can go to specific dates. So as I mentioned, the go to date feature, if you just use this one feature, it will save you so much time. I love the go-to feature. So the go-to feature or go-to command eliminates the need for scrolling. It's instantaneous. I no longer have to scroll multiple months, multiple years. I can move through my calendar easily, but wait, there's more. If you don't know the exact date, you could actually type in, for example, July 2025 or July 2024. Because you don't know the exact date, it would take you to that exact month instantaneously. So you don't have to know the exact details. You could also type in next Saturday. It would take you to next Saturday. You could type in three weeks, two weeks. The go-to date is instantaneous. So how do you jump to a specific date in Outlook Calendar? Simply press Control G, type in a specific date or type in a general date or use natural language such as Halloween, hit enter, and instantaneously you'll be taken to that date. Remember, productivity is all about working smarter, not harder. Until next time.